Yamaha has big news for model year 2022. Yamaha is pumped to be bringing their dedicated customers electric power steering on a number of their GT turbo models. If you've wondered why there are so many die-hard Apex and Vector owners who seem disinterested in dealing their ride for a new copy, according to Yamaha, a significant number of these Yamaha fans won't move up until there's a Yamaha with EPS. The new Yamaha EPS system apportions assist in tandem with your speed and handlebar inputs. As speed climbs, assist is subtly reduced, providing strong on-center feel at high speed while allowing effortless, aggressive bar sawing at lower speeds. Here's a bonus. The new EPS system is a full three pounds lighter than the system used on the Apex and Vector. The 180 horsepower turbo Sidewinder lineup has three new additions for 22. First, all GT turbo models will get EPS. Specifically, there are two GT models with EPS in model year 22 the LTX GT EPS and the STX GT EPS. The GT customer profile plays to the big mile hardcore trail rider who appreciates the benefits of electric power steering. There's another new winder for 22 as well. It's the LTX LE QS3R. This model comes with Fox QS3R dampers. These super easy to adjust shocks are rapidly becoming the benchmark for excellent ride quality. The R suffix now denotes added rebound control. The Transporter Light 2-Up is a new model for 22. It is based on the wildly successful SX Venom architecture and more specifically on last year's Transporter Light 1-Up. This snowmobile is turning heads in the business. To say the Transporter Light and 2-Up are capable is a gross understatement. A 146-inch 1.5 lug by 15 wide sneaker provides imposing deep snow capability. This capability is in no small way linked to the sled's overall lightweight and torquey grunt from its 400cc two-stroke power valve single. The addition of a two-up saddle and an anti-sway bar makes this plucky ride extra versatile. It's no secret Yamaha dealers continue to weep tears of joy after last year's arrival of the 154 and 165 Mountain Max models powered by potent SDI 800cc two-stroke engines and suspended by a revolutionary single beam rear suspension. Relax, both Mountain Max variants return for model year 22. In addition to these highly competitive rides, Yamaha is adding a new Mountain Max 154 SL. What's SL stand for? Super Light. Early indications are the new 800 Super Light Max drops 25 pounds of weight compared to a straight 154. This is no small deal. OEMs agonize over carving 10 pounds out of a vertical sled. To shed this kind of weight is admirable and will immediately make the Super Light Max a high demand ride for the Western market. What's old is new again at Yamaha. The iconic SRX is back again, only this time it's in a 1970s wrapper. Sit down and absorb the retro look of the ultra high performance Sidewinder SRX LE. This sled is dripping with cool and it goes right back to 1977 when the ice ovals were ruled by the lightweight, powerful 440 SRX. The look here is unmistakable and includes a raised gold SRX badge and a custom hand stitched heated seat with embossed SRX logos. This Sidewinder gets a lowered semi-active IQS front suspension and a one inch rip saw wrapped around 137 inch rails. Lake racers, please note, this particular setup nets the highest top end velocity among all Sidewinders. Returning this year on all Sidewinders are Yamaha's Strike skis. This is a big deal. These skis deliver dart-free handling and strong initial turn-in. 
The venerable Viper, with its iconic 1049cc normally aspirated triple cylinder Genesis engine, returns in the LTX GT. While this non turbo GT model does not get EPS, it does come in model year 22 with dual rate IFS springs and QS3 adjustable damping all the way around. This new front suspension package produces flat, balanced, and aggressive trail handling. Producing power in the 130 horsepower range, this sled is positioned to be the four-stroke competitor for the current herd of 600 and 650cc two-strokes. Model year 22 is a big one for Yamaha. The company has not produced a more balanced and versatile lineup in recent memory. There's a near perfect balance of turbocharged high performance models with great performing entry level and utility models, many using two stroke power. Covering the entire snowmobile marketplace has been somewhat of an elusive goal for Yamaha in years past. In model year 22, the company hits the Western vertical customer right between the eyes with lightweight, innovative and powerful mountain max rides. With the company respecting their customers' pocketbooks to an almost unheard of level, it's safe to say Yamaha is going to have an outstanding year. If you enjoyed this video, there's two things you need to do right now. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our new uploads. We upload content every week and we wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of it.